Hey guys, today in this video I wanted to talk about the iOS 13 Beta 2, the possible release dates, features, changes and stuff like this about the upcoming firmware version. And also I'd like to add my honest feedback about the iOS 13 Beta 1, how it was for me so far, what I liked, what I did not like and stuff like this, battery life, performance. And of course guys, before we're gonna start, I wanted to quickly advertise and show you my new game which is just submitted and made uh, to the App Store which is called NLO, so you can get it in the link down below in the description. And basically Basically, this is just a one tap game just with one finger and yeah if you will support me guys by checking out this game I'll appreciate it a lot and now let's go ahead and get started and okay so first of all the beta 2 release dates so we did not see beta 2 on Monday unfortunately but it is normal if we take a look at the iOS beta release cycle we'll see that second beta of new iOS version comes always on uh, in two weeks so that means uh, we will see that somewhere in 18th of June uh, so on Tuesday uh, so definitely expect that to drop somewhere in here and of course I'm gonna add another article on my website and also make a video about it as soon as I get it on my device and probably somewhere in here we may also see the uh, OTA profile without a computer the version uh, so I'm definitely crossing my fingers for that so when it comes to the features and changes we will not see any new features in the second beta I guess because all of this features basically were presented in the beta 1. Now Apple is focusing on the bugs, uh, on the bug fixes and also changes uh, somewhere in icons. If you take a look at the previous iOS releases, uh, the new icons should be actually appearing somewhere in the control center, uh, inside of a settings, somewhere in here, and especially in accessibility, somewhere in here we'll see new icons and maybe this icon in here should be changing for the dark mode. So yeah, a lot of new icons should be coming to the iOS because Apple always does that and maybe they will also change something in here in this kind of new volume HUD which to my in my opinion just looks not so complete. And now let's move on to the iOS 13 beta 1 and see how it actually feels on my device up here on the iPhone 10. So uh, first of all the battery life I guys I should say that I've seen some tests on the YouTube performed by some bloggers of the iOS 13 beta 1 um, uh, battery life test and it was it was absolutely incorrect because what they basically tested is just standby time and basically they do not fool you but that's the absolute incorrect information because what you're gonna be actually doing on your iPhone is just multitasking using some apps watching videos uh, scrolling through timelines that's it's a whole another level, you know, of, of actual multitasking and using your iPhone, right? So, from my experience, I can say that standby time is great. That's when you're just laying your iPhone on the table and it just, you know, has the screen flashing on you and you're not doing anything. That is great. That's the same like it was on the iOS 12.3. On the other hand, if you're using your iPhone and just multitasking and watching videos, that's actually dropped to about, let's say, 20% worse than it was on the iOS 12.3. Uh, 12 so to me, yes, I'm actually I'm actually feeling the heat output from my iPhone and that's heating up sometimes a lot more than on iOS 12.3. Uh, so definitely I can say that the battery life is now, uh, let's say, worse by 20%. You know, on the other hand, the performance is so nice, I really enjoyed the iOS 13 beta 1 performance and this is this feels truly like so much faster than the previous version as you can see I can now close and open application a lot faster so that is so nice the face AG now actually works so much faster and I'm I'm actually enjoying this framework like so much in in comparison to the previous version that is really really faster and yeah guys I think that should be pretty much it for today that's all I wanted to say about the upcoming uh, beta 2 and the existing beta 1 of the iOS 13 uh, versions if you guys have any questions make sure you write them down below in the comment section I'll try to answer all of them and of course if you're actually looking for the OTA updates for the iOS beta 2 uh, I'm gonna also have the link down below in the description for you guys there's a website that keeps checking for that uh, actual OTA profile so definitely be sure to go there to check it out and you guys thank you so much for watching and I really hope to see you around to my next one and peace out